Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 47 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we just got more through the forest temple, and that's about it. And now we're going to fight this Salphos guy. Do something. Thank you. You noob. You noob. Oh my god, these guys are so easy. Although, in a little bit, they're not going to be so easy. And yes, you can die from falling in that hole, or at least get hurt. Oh my god! I almost got crushed! Holy crap! And now, he, I got a root, random rupee, and two more Southwells come down. But these guys are a little bit different from the ones we've seen before. Because you have to, after you kill one, its bones will stay laying around. And you have to kill the second one before it comes back to life. So it's a little bit more challenging that way, but not too bad. Yeah, I see his bones are just gonna. Oh my god, that was a lot of lag. And that's not even my capture card, that's just lag from the con that I even get on the console. Yeah, so this really isn't too bad. Just keep your keep your guard up and you'll be fine. There we go, and they were guarding a large chest this time, because there were three of them, obviously. One more makes a huge difference, even though you don't fight it at the same time. And again, I was on the wrong side of the chest, but what could this possibly be? We already got some awesome upgrades. What could this one be? This is the fairy bow. I like the hero's bow better, but whatever. Yeah, basically this is a slingshot for adults. That's basically about it, except it's more awesome and it does more damage than a slingshot. So you're obviously going to want to equip that. I'll equip it over the hookshot for now, because I don't really need the hookshot right now. Uh, we can restore some health, I guess. There we go. And that, uh, the bow is now actually the key to those strange, mysterious picture frames that we were looking at earlier. Like, uh, there's one there. Third. Okay, so, there's gonna be a picture of one of the poses that we saw at the very beginning of the dungeon. And you have to shoot an arrow at it, which will cause it to disappear like that. Kind of burn away. And then, the pose will reappear in one of the other two picture frames. Then you have to fire at that one. And then, it'll be in the last picture frame, so all you have to do is snipe it like a hammer. Snipe it like a hammer? No. And that Poe will come out. By the way, these Poe's are girls. Just interesting little tidbit of knowledge. And what I like to do is kind of stay far back and just fire the arrows at them. And keep my, keep my, kind of, keep my arrows just pointed at them. And then eventually they'll reappear and fire another arrow. You do this, have to do this five times for each Poe, I'm pretty sure. It could get a little bit boring, but whatever. Anyways. Yeah. I'm not sure how far we are through the forest temple right now. I think we're about halfway done. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit less. I don't even know. Uh, all I know is I just don't... This is not my favorite dungeon. It's probably one of my least favorites, actually. I don't know. It's kind of boring, but whatever. It's still a really cool dungeon. I Like, I like it. It's just not... It's one of my least favorite. And for killing that Poe, you get a chest. And one of the flames returns to his torch. It, it returns to that torch, but also returns to the torch in the main room. And you get a compass. Here we go. So yeah, you have to find all four Poes and kill all four Poes. So that you have to fire again. Oh damn, is my sister coming again? That'll be three times. Except she's not coming, so don't worry about that. Whatever. Okay, so now we come back into this room. We're backtracking a little bit here. And we are going to kill the next Poe. The one that we saw before that we were so confused about. It's like, oh my god! It's going for picture painting! Don't hit the stairs, Link. You stupid. Yeah. And completely bamboozled us. We were like, what the hell? How do we kill it? But now nah, we can't kill it. Look at her hair. It's like made of hay or something. That was weird. Let's just stand back here and fire at will. Well, not at will, because you have to wait for them to reappear, stupid. Duh, dummy. La la la. Shot the face. Shot the face. Wouldn't it be awesome if we had a scope on this bow? I mean, you kind of get a scope, and you get an optional scope in Twilight Princess, the Hawkeye, but... I'll cover that in another few games of Zelda. Still have to do Majora's Mask and Wind Waker and finish this one before I get to that. 
Yes, I'm going to do all the 3D Zelda games in order. There we go. And we killed that one too. Are they only taking four hits? I thought they took five. I'm not sure. I don't know, maybe when you get them out of the picture frame it counts as a hit. Anyways, another chest. This one's small though. So it's probably just a key or something. Wouldn't it be funny if it was just rupees? It's like, yeah, you get rupees. Ha ha ha. And we get a small key. So open a locked door somewhere. Anyways, now we're going to want to backtrack just a little bit more. To And we're going to go back through that qu twisted corridor and do some crap. Okay, so we come up here. Beware of wall masters again. But we're not going to be in this room long enough for them to get us. Whoa, I thought I was going to fall there for sure. Stupid thing. Is there a ladder here? Oh my god, I see. I, I hear the wall master coming. Die, monster. Damn it, it got away. Because I was lagging. Like a bitch. Anyways, now we can climb back up here and hop a. Fucking noobs. Hi, Link. Oh, he's coming again. Looks like we can kill him this time. Looks like we got him, maybe. Yep, we got him. Holy crap, 60 rupees. I was not expecting that at all. I Like, I seriously wasn't. Normally, they drop three blue rupees at the best. And then it's like three red rupees. Who knows, maybe next they'll drop three huge rupees. That'll fill up my wallet and, that, and then some. Anyways, back through the twisted corridor that Nabby so blatantly pointed out in the last episode. Still can't believe that. That's worse than the door thing. Well, maybe not. But. Now we're just going to fire at this eye switch here. Kind of like he did with the slingshot in the... Deku Tree Dungeon. And there you go. That untwists the corridor. And it also un it also in kind of inverts the room at the other end of the corridor. And you are definitely going to want to do that because you can climb down a ladder now. <laughs> but you can find this. A very strange little chest. And I hear a wall master coming after me. Wouldn't that be funny if he grabbed me when I was about to open the chest? And what the hell is that, a boss key? We've never seen that before, have we? Okay, here comes the wall master. Or floor master, or whatever you want to call it. No, floor master is wrong. See? Oh my god! I thought it only dropped three <laughs> It dropped three blue and three red? That's That's a little bit ridiculous. Oh, I should not have fallen down here. That was a bad idea. Oh well. I'd have to come down here eventually. Oh well, I'll just backtrack off screen. Anyways, that clears that out, and a door opens. Hmm. So many random things opening doors in Zelda games. And now we are actually ba back in the courtyard, except on an upper level. Before you do anything up here, though, you're going to want to hop across here to get some hearts. Yay! But the real reason you're coming out here is because there is a gold sculpture out here. Make sure you kill that and get out your hookshot. You can kill it with the hookshot if you want. And we are going to grab that token. Yes, we are. We are going to grab that token. Anyways, um, what else is up on this level of this courtyard? Hello. Don't knock me off, please, because I know you can. Do you have before? Oh, what's my time at? About nine minutes, okay. Uh, there's nothing in there, it looks like. Over here, there's another indent in the wall, but there's a door in this one. Oh my god. <sighs> again? No, not again. I thought I hurt my sister again. Oh my god, what are you doing? You retard. What? Three, three small ones? That's a bit retarded. Where's the last one? There you are, you bitch. Haha. Uh -huh. By the way, if you get the, if you let those get too close, they'll actually jump and grab your neck and like suck the energy out of you or something. And then they'll just grow big again and you have to kill them and they'll drop three smaller ones and you, they can just keep doing that. But anyways, that gets us another small key here. So that's good. Anyways, um, not much to talk about. Just basically going through a dungeon. There's never much to talk about when you're going through a dungeon, except E3 that one time. And now we're back in this puzzly room. I'm going to backtrack up to the top of this room where the eye switch is and the path to the Twisted Corridor. 
So I will see you guys then. Okay guys, we're back up here now, and when you get up here, you're gonna wanna hit this eye switch with another arrow, which makes it open somehow. Like, I don't know, when my, if, even if my eye gets hit when it's closed, that doesn't make it open. That's just Nintendo logic for you, I guess. Don't be stealing phrases now, man. I've done that a little bit too much recently. Do I hear someone back there? No, that's just the laundry. Never mind. Anyways, looks like we're just about out of time. So I'm going to do what I was planning to do in the next episode. So thank you all for watching. In the next episode, we might finish the Forest Dun Temple Dungeon. Who knows? We might just come close to finishing it, but whatever. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.